Hey guys, Alex from 7th Hour Films back again with Cowboy Bebop. Last time on Cowboy Bebop, we had Waltz for Venus, where uh, basically uh, the, the gang went to Venus and ran into this dude who had a special plant to cure Venus sickness. Uh, however, he was killed, and uh, then Spike was able to get treatment for his blind sister. Yes. It was interesting. As are they all. So, yeah. And that's pretty much that. So, like always, the reaction is down in the description and in the pinned comment for your viewing pleasure. So, let's go ahead and jump right into this episode, or session, I should say, of Cowboy Bebop. Here we go. Alrighty, we are gonna start with Ed's voice. We're gonna start with Ed's voice because it sounds familiar. I love that on behind the voice actors it has Ed's full name. So that's funny. Jeez, alright. I just went through a lot to get nothing, unfortunately. Now I've also confirmed something that I just happened to catch at the end of that too. Okay, so, A, I don't recognize the voice from anything, unfortunately. Uh, but, definitely, there were a lot of things on there. None of which I recognize, unfortunately. But, I also did confirm, because I only vaguely caught that at the end, that Edward's actually a girl. Which, I mean, I suppose is obvious when you look at her, but still. And let me, like, double check that I've got that. Let me turn on subs real quick. Yeah. Ed's a girl, which I mean, again, I feel like you know, you look at you look at her and it's like, yeah, but her name's Edward, so oh well. Okay, so <laughs> interesting stuff, interesting stuff in this one. So uh so yeah, new member, which I mean, to be fair, Again, we said the same thing when Faye came up, but, um, you know, in the, I guess the, the banner for this show on Netflix, it has the gang in like a police lineup and it's, it's, um, Spike, Jet, Faye, Ed, and Ayn. So I kind of knew like, okay, this is our overall crew. Took a lot longer to get Edward than uh, than it did to get Faye. Faye was pretty immediate. Well, I mean, I guess it wasn't until episode four that she was actually a part of the crew. But yeah, episode nine, we now have Edward to round out our our team. So yeah, and specifically, uh, specifically now the three things that Spike doesn't like: children, animals, and women with attitude. And now he has all three. Alrighty. Um, but interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. First off, we went to Earth, which is pretty cool. So, Earth... I'm gonna say Earth is like, you know, slumming it out in the boonies, basically, nowadays. Like, yes, Earth, you can go there, you can live there. I thought it might be, like, this inhospitable place. Uh, that's kind of how they made it look in uh, Sympathy for the Devil. But... No, honestly, it's it's fine, but it is it's slumming it. You know, you've got Mars, you've got Venus, you've got Jupiter, you've got all these places that are you know pretty decent, you know, places. But then, if you want to go into basically what would be the countryside, then yeah, that's Earth for you. So yeah, if you want to head out to the sticks, you go to Earth. Uh, but yeah, so we've got these land carvings. Uh, the, carving the Earthbound Immortals now. Uh, I know it's the the Aztec stuff, which is what the Earthbound Immortals are based on. I just felt like making a Yu-Gi-Oh reference, so... A Yu-Gi-Oh 5Ds reference, specifically. Which is rare for me, because I don't... Well, eh. Uh, that show is hit and miss with me. So, yeah. Not that any of you care. Unless you're a 5Ds fan, or not a 5Ds fan. Which does sort of equal out to any, anybody who could be watching this. Anyway. So... Uh, but yeah, we got these land carvings, which is interesting, and uh, the police think they thought it was a hacker, and I guess maybe one of the biggest hackers on Earth appears to be Edward, uh, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, but it wasn't a hacker, it was, what was it, Mpew? 
Hold on, let me get that in the sub and see what that actually looked like. Yeah, MPU. Why was it MPU? I don't even remember why it was MPU. Maybe I should look at that in the subs. There's, there's no, there's no reason. There's absolutely no reason. It's just MPU. Why? Eh. All right. Cool. MPU. All right. So MPU. They said it was a spy satellite disguised as a weather satellite, which is interesting. And and then it just it did these carvings. Because it felt like it, which is weird. It just felt like doing some drawings. And then, I mean, I guess, you know, what they said, it's like, well, it was lonely, so it drew some friends, I guess. And then made friends with Edward. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but that was interesting. And then, you know, obviously there's a bounty on the hacker and stuff like that. Uh, but... You've got Ed hacking into the Bebop and uh, telling them, telling them that uh, that it's a satellite, and that was interesting. I like uh, I like how they went about doing that. You know, you can't use computers and stuff, but then that didn't even matter because uh, MPU figured it out. So uh, so yeah, they had to dodge all the satellites and stuff. Um, and I like how it's like, well, you know, you know, you go do that, and then. You go do that. Jet gets as close as he can because then they won't fire. And then you have Faye be the distraction. You have Faye be the bait and taking all the hits, you know? Uh, so that was funny. Uh, but they did get in and then they, they copied it, which was interesting. I like how they did that. That it's not it's not turning in MPU. It's like, well, we're going to make a copy of you. We'll turn that in. And then they'll get off your back and you'll just chill out, basically. So I like that. It's, you know... It's this whole, you know, what feels like it could be a Skynet thing. Like, oh, it's become self-aware and it's so it could be dangerous and stuff. And it's like, it's just lonely. It's like, don't worry, we'll make a copy of you to turn in. And then, you know, you can just, I don't know, chill out here, basically. So, so yeah, that was really just it. It's like, well, we're just going to, we'll help you out and you can just chill. And that's pretty much what it was. So, yeah. But, yeah. Um, it was lonely. It was lonely and it made friends. And you know who else was lonely? Ed. Ed was lonely. But Ed has now <laughs> made a deal to uh, join the Bebop. A deal that Faye was completely ready to break. Yeah. Which, I mean, uh, yeah, of course. Faye would totally break that deal, you know? Faye would totally break that deal. Because why would she allow this kid on board, you know? It's not even... Not even her ship. It's jets. It's spikes. I'm not even sure how much it spikes. It's probably just jets, you know? But... But yeah, so... They were going to break the promise, but... They were outsmarted that... Yeah, Ed just took control of the Bebop. And I like that, that it's like, you know, Ed didn't really get upset. It's like, oh, are they not coming? Okay. And it just brought them over, and it's like, oh, there we go. And now I'm a part of your team, so... So, yeah. I like that, that it's just... Ed has just forcibly put herself on the Bebop, and... Yeah, everything Spike doesn't like. Now, I mean, I understand, you know, it's, oh, the three things I don't like. Children, animals, and women with attitudes. Like, okay, I can understand the children. The, 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 the little girl who forcibly, you know, joined your ship. And the woman with the attitude who forcibly joined your ship. The dog, I feel like you should have warmed up to Ein by now. He's a good, he's a good dog, you know. So, oh well. And then I love. Well, first off, this freaking bounty hunter show is so freaking stupid, and it's offensive to someone. I'm not sure who, but it's got to be offensive to someone. But it's just so bizarre and strange, you know. And then, yeah, I love that it's like, well. They, you know, they basically had to figure out the definition of life, and they're like, well, artificial intelligence, eh, there's some debate over it, but it's not a person, so you can't collect a bounty, so yeah. So, of course, of course, and I like how, you know, when Ed's talking about, like, oh, well, 
you know, I've been following you. I've been, you know, uh, following what you've been doing. And last week you were on Mars and you didn't get the bounty. And it's like, of course, of course they didn't get the bounty. Why would they ever get the bounty? They did get... Last episode, they got a bounty at the beginning, and Faye completely blew it at a casino. These people don't have money. Ever. And I don't even know, like, is Ed, like, would Ed hack and, like, get money? Probably not. Why would Ed care, you know? Ed's gonna hack other stuff, probably, you know? Why would there be any reason for them to have money, you know? So, they don't, they did not get any more money, and instead got another mouth to feed, so... Yeah, uh, interesting stuff. But yeah, we now have our fifth member of the crew, Ed. So, um, yeah, an interesting character. I'm excited to see uh, what they're going to be doing. Because, I mean, you know, with getting Ayn, like, that was a good episode with Ayn. But Ayn's kind of just been relegated to, like, dog on ship. You know, Ayn doesn't really do anything else. Faye is basically just the female sassier version of Spike, you know? The sassy, impatient version of Spike. So, like, it makes sense how, you know, they work together, how they work on the ship. I have no idea how Ed's gonna fit in uh, with the team, but I'm very curious to see what they're going to be doing with her. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, that is basically it. With all that being said, I'm Alex from 7th Hour Films, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. There's a bunch of links on screen if you want to go click around to any of those. There's a playlist for all of my Cowboy Bebop reactions, as well as another video you can go click on if you want. Oh god, excuse me. There's also a subscribe button and a Patreon button on screen, as well as other links in the description if you want to go check out any of those. See you guys later.